they need to patch this up before they can can uh, expand the game with the Shattered Sky DLC, which is also also coming out. With that best status and Gummenbar. It may not have been their intention, but it represents hope. Keeper Aquilus, can we have a moment? Okay, so these oh, these guys have a hats. It's been too long. How are your parents? Your mother's still struggling with that azalea garden? No, she figured that out a while ago. Had to adjust the pH levels in the soil. But, Keeper, I didn't come to catch up. Oh, well, what's on both your minds? <laughs> we think your church is connected to a group of space feeders. We need to talk about unity. Oh, yeah. How humanity comes together. Uh, how we are to love each other, even as our universe becomes even more complex. That's not exactly what we mean. Keeper, when you talk about unity, well, does it mean anything else? This is this is funny anything question to ask uh, from the priest. Secret? Perhaps we should talk about this inside. Okay. <laughs> now when you put it that, that way, I'm keeping my gun with me, just, just to be on the safe side. And also, I, I probably should carry the artifacts around. It's it's now on, on my ship, so ship could get attacked. I wonder what's the round roundness symbol symbolism here. I mean, I mean, roundness is like everyone is a eagle. You can you can see from this setting that everyone is a e uh, eagle here. Yeah, there's there's a, there's a podium here but he he's he's a, a e eagle to other people believers on this circle and well triangle is is really religious symbol and there's like <clears throat> like orbits so everyone is orbiting around the triangle through Trinity. Huh. Called Pyramid Club, sure. Yeah, that's that makes makes sense. This probably were my background if if it wa was from this church would, would actually come to effect what it is that brought you to here well group of space weirdos they're like nothing we've ever seen keeper gravitational distortion sub audio harmonic sequencing unidentifiable energy fluctuations uh, i caught half of that so these things are unusual even in your experience there have always been mysteries that seem to defy our understanding of the universe. Beyond rational thought, we enter life as an act of someone else's faith in us. There's no way of knowing who we will become, and yet the risk is made anyway. Grow, growing up so as an adult. You pushed into the unknown, not knowing where it would take you. And it's brought you here. I think I can. If you're willing to find your way in the dark for a bit longer, I can give you a path of discovering its meaning. There's an old story, far older than the Sanctum Universum, of someone who walked the settled systems and saw every corner of it. This pilgrim claimed he found the true meaning of unity. I always thought of it as just a parable for trying to bring humanity together, but maybe it's more. In my story, the pilgrim met the founders of the House of Enlightenment and the enigmatic cult of the Varun. And he gave them each a part of the truth. Then he goes to his final resting place to live out the rest of his days in contemplation 
of infinitum addendum, his addition or contribution to the infinite. But what if the story isn't a metaphor, but a code, a way of finding the pilgrim again, or at least his grave? Infinite addendum. That's how it's saying. Very specific. Yes, something must be there. I just can't put my finger on it. Maybe the answer will become clear when we have more. The House of Enlightenment and Varun have versions of this story. The Enlightened work out of the well here in New Atlantis, helping the poorest citizens find a better life for themselves. Varun worshippers are more enigmatic, but there is a lone zealot that was captured recently for attacking UC ships. I visited her a couple of times. Hopefully, she'll be willing to talk to you as well. I'll stay here with the Keeper. We need to catch up. And I wouldn't mind asking him a few more questions. You know, there are folks I sometimes see only once every few years. In between, they're just out there, jumping. Hmm. Suspicious. You need something, yeah? Case places like second home. If it's about the financial or food assistance programs, we are backlogged. Don't worry, we're doing everything we can. It's a, it's about space beer, those. <laughs> Sorry, can I help you? We understand that you are busy, but this might be important. Anything you could tell us would be helpful. Listen, I've talked about this with him a ton of times, and there's no record of a unity pilgrim. But since you both insist, our early records are mostly administrative. Humanitarian projects, group counseling notes, charity expenditures. But there is a series of exchanges the founding members recorded in a lot of detail. It's the closest thing I have to what Aquilus is describing. A man walks into the first house of enlightenment. The founding members just call him the Drifter. Drifter. So they think he's a charity case at first, but no, the Drifter asked them a bunch of questions. If your philosophy is built on an individual's own morality, what about the second person? That second person might disagree. Isn't the problem of two what you're really looking for? And the founders respond, each individual must understand how the second person lifts them up. All of human effort is a story of cooperation pushing us forward. And it kind of goes on like that. He comes back every week for a year. Same conversation every time. The second person this, the problem of two that. Problem of two. It's part of our core principles. There's no God pushing us to do good for some eternal reward. We have to help each other because we choose to. If no one takes responsibility for making the settled systems better, then we're just leaving it to the tyrants to bully the rest of us. Honestly, I think the founding members made it all up. There was a little more hesitation being openly atheist in the early days. Hmm. I think they were experimenting with writing their own scripture. Fortunately, that got abandoned pretty quick. After the records of the Drifter end, you never see anything like it again. Besides what the Keeper would say about it, it sounds like a gathering point or a center. Or, in mathematics, it would mean one, like the one, the first or the beginning. Hmm. Always happy to help. If you'll excuse me, I've got a lot of aid efforts to coordinate. Okay. Hello. Ah. Now look at me. 
A visitor? I have all the company I need. The Great Serpent shall reveal himself and shroud the entire universe, leaving only the faithful. Why do you hide among the accursed? You are promised. May you live eternal at his Promised, side. okay. I had no idea. That is an extraordinary claim to make. Now, kindred, what is it you need from me? I require no company. He knows not the truth. He sends another to ask more incessant questions. It is something, at least, that he has come to speak with you. I suspect few others would. The Great Serpent waits in the shadows. He will entwine the universe, and all but the faithful will be made as dust. They have an interesting that religion. Is the truth. No more, no less. If the Keeper has been to see you, perhaps he has mentioned it? Yes, I have spoken to your Keeper about this. I will tell you what I told him, and then you will leave me. Jinan Varun meets the Unbeliever. He gives false prophecy to Jinan. But such is Jinan's conviction in the Great Serpent, he does not hesitate. He cuts the Unbeliever down, but the Unbeliever returns. Jinan realizes the Great Serpent is testing him, and he will not be found wanting. Four times they fight. Over 120 rotations of the planet they are on. Remember these four battles, Jinan, the Unbeliever says. Remember these 120 rotations. But Jinan knows this is blasphemy and delivers the killing blow. That is all. I have heard of no such thing. If it exists, it is a shadow that the Great Serpent casts to deceive the Faithless. Then we are done. Leave me. So 120 and rotations. This. It is of no more use to me, and it is better kept by a promise of the Great Serpent. Varun... Okay, Varun spacesuit. Cool. So, uh... Uh, 120 rotations might be uh, like uh, a year of the, what planet takes uh, to ro rotate around the sun. What on space suit? What? Eager to help, if I can. Did you need me to carry something for you? Interesting. I suppose 500 credits is. Thanks for following. What's on your mind? So so small amount of bounty that they don't, they don't really bother. Timo Timo Nurme. Thanks for following. It came cream stressed. The same planet. Than the temple. Landing site is sufficient. Taking the ship down. Well, this looks hot. Uranium. Interesting. And not to stay safe. Uh, oops, that was hand grenade. Surface map. Not discovered yet, so it's southeast.
But wait, they have a new Atlantis and there's like bounty box for the stolen items. So I can get the gun back because it's now stored in the bounty box. Search the four clues on Unity. Space cockroaches here. Yeah. I hope these are not the Unity. Nay, uranium. Okay. I suppose the Starborn might be waiting for us. Someone made a concerted effort to survive here, and yet it would seem it did not work out. In the dream's rest. Last bit of peace, a piece of peace, is that anything? Have they driven me mad at last? Not like this person. Is there anything about the unity? He was communing with the unity. The crux of my troubles to accomplish this. Trouble is that I genuinely care about those people. Hmm. So maybe dangerous life or something. Credit on the simplicity of a mundane humans never ceases to amaze me. The worst instincts the evil spirit draw me to was form the contempt for them. Okay. This is puzzling. The guy who found the unity is... Well, mad. <laughs> I am crazy. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll believe you. Access the lock, lock, and lock through. I found my thinking about his various past and my possible futures. If you came seeking the right answers, you will know that what question to ask. What is unity? I return your question with a question. 
If I read my writings, what is the burden of people? Necessary but madness. It's your most form formidable opponent myself, the hunter. That is an answer, but not my answer. Okay, so we got the... Um, myself, okay. Yeah, that was my second choice. What does enduring contentment come from? Enduring contentment. You came here seeking the true meaning of unity. If you still f wish to find it, there's one final piece of, of myself in the next room. I found my own answer long ago, but the, not in the way as I, ex I was expecting. Your, your, your journey gives you the truth. Yeah, that's the artifact. Tracker's primer, okay. Ballistic weapon damage by five percent, okay. That that was that was good. I didn't know what the correct answer is. It might be never. Increasingly, I'm um, comfortable of not knowing. The more I reflect on being here in this world in this time, the more I think it's precisely where I need to be. I'm leaving behind that other person. This world has no place for him. Let him die. Let me live in enlightening the blessed universe before me. You have found the end of my journey. But to know everything, you must find its beginning. Hyla 2. The island has a scorpion. The scorpion stings, hi, sting hides the truth. Hyla 2. Hyla 2. So that's, that's a planet. Very puzzling. So did this person find the truth or not? What is the truth? And what is the question? Well, everyone knows the truth, truth of life and everything is 42. But what is the question? Okay. Well, of course. Can we target that that thing? Critical. Oh no. Nasty, nasty stuff. Soul and Tor.
you more of them. Yeah, that, that that went pretty well. Extreme environment. Ah, that's pretty cool off. Forty level. Well, this should be interesting. This place. Everything checks out. Landing initiated. Hydrocarbons in abundance. Let's see how they have arranged themselves. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we could unarrange some hydrocarbon. Okay, what's that? Clearly some connection to the creatures in the area. What could it mean? Yeah, okay, lots of animals here. is that cliff oh it's a puzzle so I need to probably trace the sign here
Okay, so there's something. Okay, so somehow we noticed the scanner anomaly. Or we, we did have a coordinate it's bit for it, but the notification came too late. I'm still already, already jumping out of the system. Good act, actually. Add, add some fuel tanks. humans have survived being hurtled through space once more. Base. Okay, let's. Ah, uh, we need to fight the um, Starborn probably. Landing gear. Check. Thrusters. Check. Landing Ground. Site. Check. Clear. Alien reanimation. Okay. Alien, alien beast. Okay. Your abilities are amazing. Quantum essence. I wish to discuss with you when you have time. Oh no. Before I say anything else, I wanted to thank you for giving me time. When I first came here, I never expected that I would meet you or feel this way about you. That we would end up here together. I know that you told me you were not going anywhere, but I still worried, if only little, that my asking for time to think would be a problem. There is no precedent for any of this. A romantic relationship not within the bounds of Barun culture, I mean. I well, wanted to culture. attempt to honor that culture nonetheless. I know, and I love you for that. The point I am trying to get to is that I believe I have an idea. A way I can demonstrate my commitment to you. I hope it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Could you pick up the dress on the higher DJ? I was hoping that would be your response. This is between you and me, and no one else. You know who I am, 
I do not need to explain myself to you as I would to others. They might not understand, and I do not want that distraction. I want to be able to focus on us. So as soon as you are ready, I want us to travel together to the second planet in the Shosa system. There's something we need to do there. Okay. You're handling this whole captain thing really well, you know. Yep. is little I can offer to show you how much I care, how much you mean to me. Whatever House Varun deems proper could not work, because you are not House Varun. And whatever marriage traditions you might have would not be appropriate for me. If you are not joking, then no, you are not. But there is something here that I believe will make up for it. This place, where we stand now, is the first place I was brought upon leaving my city, Dasra. The first time I had ever left my home planet. As you know, I was never allowed to know the way back home. That frightened me. But at the same time, I was suddenly aware of not just one planet, but a whole universe I had never seen. That is a feeling I had not experienced again until I met you. You have already done so. There is no need for you to worry. But there is more. Buried here is something of great value to me. Something I wish you to have. It is best, I think, if you are the one to retrieve it. Okay. So, I have a mining laser already. Tungsten? Actually. Yeah, let's take tungsten with us. <laughs> I know that wasn't the thing you planned, but... Dung pile. Um, honey, is, is it the dung pile? Cobalt. Nice. Oh, but was it this holy place or something? Alright, so where to something hidden in here. So I better look around. Young pile. I wonder what kind of animal these Sure. I think that's a thing she mentioned. Find Andrea's gift. Yeah, it's here. Okay, this dump pile, rock pile. It's a bone, bone knife. Pretty cool. You hold in your hands the most treasured item I could give you. I, I knew you liked knives, but this is something else. It is indeed something very special. Let me explain. In my culture, Every child is entrusted with a pet groat. Okay. They are domesticated creatures native to my planet. Smelly, cantankerous, but their milk is a staple of our diet. We raise the groat. We 
care for it, we milk it. And when we come of age, we slaughter the grot and fashion its skull into a dagger. You turned your childhood pet into a weapon. <laughs> I did. Through this growth, we are shown the connection that we have to the Great Serpent. That all things serve the Serpent, and can be tools for his use, in more ways than one. I'm still stuck on turning this call into a weapon. The incredibly personal thing. I'm you. glad that you can appreciate that. Every member of House Varun has a dagger like this. We are instructed to keep them at our side at all times. The Great Serpent is always with us. As is the danger of those who defy and oppose him. But that constant connection to the Great Serpent is a liability to those of us sent out into the settled systems. So when we first leave our home, we hide it. always been. But my mission dictated that my origins remain concealed. So for years this dagger has remained buried here, hidden from the world. But now, I believe you should have it. With it, I hope you can understand that I trust you completely. That I know you will care for this the way you care for me. And that we are connected in a way that is now truly unique in the settled systems. In all of creation, I love you and I am yours. Wholly and completely. You are very welcome and I know that you will. I would not have brought you here otherwise. Ooh, now, surely there is some other grand adventure that awaits us. We should go and meet it head on. Go then. Committed partner. Okay, so there's there's different levels of the of the relationship. Unfortunately we probably can't Yeah, it's 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 a nice Prime and Proxima, so two stars. Let's go to the Prime. Okay. Sus. I can speak for myself. Emissary. Constellation ship, you weren't invited to this meeting, but much of our conversation has been about you. It's only fitting you should join us. I will personally guarantee your safety as long as you come in peace. Come in peace. And think of it as a ceasefire meeting. Your one shot at getting those answers you must desperately want. Has a human docking adapter. Time to cycle the airlock and move. It's full of stars. 
Let's save. <laughs> Interesting. Hello again. <laughs> Do you remember the emissary, perhaps? And their ship, the Helix? I believe they ambushed you above Neon and demanded that artifact you worked so hard to gain. Thank you for the stellar introduction. Your success is unprecedented. Before you came, we were just discussing how continued use of force against you is unwise. Yes, we did. We are not a monolithic people. The Starborn are individuals. Some are united in cause. Okay. Others are in it for themselves. We are all in it for ourselves. Some of us are just more honest. Okay. The emissary threatened your ship, demanded you hand over your artifact. How is that so different from what I did? We needed to warn you off. Every encounter with one of our kind could spell disaster. Okay. For whom, exactly? I say whoever can collect them should. And who gets to say that? You? Me? The Emissary? I have debated morality for near infinity, and all I have found are groups of people enforcing their will on others. Rules and laws spoken as principles, but backed by arms and violence. Enough. We have more to discuss. The unity. You are on the path to it. It is a place, a gateway. It is where we were reborn. You've really come a long way since the Welcome to Constellation speech, haven't you? Okay. I'm not who you think I am. This universe is only the first one you've been to. I've seen hundreds. Where I came from. I was the one who stayed at the Lodge to protect the artifacts. You died on board the Eye while we held off the Hunter. One of me, at least. I collected the remaining artifacts, and they opened the way to the center of my universe, and the doorway to an infinite number of others. That is the Unity. When I stepped into it, I became a Starborn. It's how I've entered other worlds, including yours. They are all connected. And that's the problem. Okay, why? All the artifacts are needed to complete the armillary and open the way to the Unity. In every universe, the Starborn fight over them. Innocent people die. You've witnessed the power granted by the Temples. The anarchy that can be unleashed. Someone has to decide who should get them. Here it comes. The Emissary tells you only the worthy should enter heaven. Okay. You're twisting what I mean. They're hypocrites. They use the chaos caused by the hunt for the artifacts to establish an order where they decide who's worthy. I attacked your lodge because I wanted the artifacts, and you held me off. You got away. That wasn't some morality play. You didn't survive because of righteousness. You won because of persistence, luck, and skill. As I have done countless times. I was also human once. But what does it matter who or what I was when eternity is within your grasp? Uh, the pirate guy. No, keeper. Eh, no, we need to keep a rack for this. 
Yeah, no, he's, he has the same kind of uh, scar, but it's not the pirate guy. Keeper Aquilius. You're learning. My other self wants you to walk the path he walks. To give up. To appreciate the universe you have. Easy for a person who's seen everything, done everything. I think you should see it for yourself. You've never come this far. Not in all the universes I've seen. The path to the unity is opening to you. You're going to tip the scales one way or another. Better your hand be on one of our sides. So I help you, one of you, become by now to enter the unity. Bingo! I want a truce between all three of us. Give you some time to think over which approach to the unity is the one you want. Mine, or the Hunter's. Yes, let's see how willing you are to live under someone else's rules. Just remember, one of us isn't trying to judge you. Yeah, that's definitely Sarah. <laughs> You're always carrying too much. <laughs> okay, interesting. So this is this is all about uh, different possible universes, connected universes, other places. So it's it's going to be like similar not mind fuck than Elder Scrolls is, basically. But we pick the, the Sarah the side. and their kind only want to control you. The hunter. I'll tell you everything I can. I'm sure you have more questions. Ask. Well, I, I was in your universe. Different. I never know who you are when I meet a new version. But so much of you stays the same. It's hard. But each universe is precious in its own way. Mine will never have its original you in it again. As yours won't have its real me. You've seen the terror the hunter causes. Every time a Starborn goes through the Unity, they get more artifacts, find more temples, gain more power. We can't let more like him abuse these gifts to destroy whatever's in their way. When all the artifacts are assembled, the device they create is called the Armillary. In many ways, it's a model of the multiverse itself. Through it, you can reach the Unity. And from there, you can become Starborn. It's not an easy experience to describe, but the Unity will speak to you. Offer you the chance to become Starborn. You will be leaving this universe behind to be reborn. Everything you were before will be gone. Maybe that's why it offers the choice. Compassion? Or is it testing us? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. The unity is meant for whomever can get there. Don't fall for that talk of worthiness. I've simply found that it's the quickest way. Talking, forming alliances, waiting for the right moment to commit theft. It's all so tiresome. I'll admit you getting away has been the most interesting thing to happen in quite some time. As soon as I realized what had happened, I knew I needed to wait until this meeting with the Emissary to decide what to do about you. To see what would happen, of course. You might not understand just how many times I've done this. Usually, you're the one who ends up dead and whoever cries over your body goes on to become the Emissary. Uh-huh. 
Sometimes I manage to get you all bunched up and take care of the problem in one go. And sometimes the emissary has gotten to me first and I never arrive. Hundreds and hundreds of variations of me, packing through Constellation. And it's almost never you. You making it to your ship on your own. That's new. I took it as a sign. I don't get many of those anymore. They enter the Unity, take artifacts from others, employ force. All the things I do. I am many things, but I would never tell anyone what to do with their gifts. That is your decision, not someone else's. The Emissary wants to become the judge of who gets to enter. But the Unity itself doesn't judge. <laughs> no, we always end up having this meeting at this time. But it's the usual affair. Can we make peace? No. Oh, how tragic. Honestly, I was beginning to wonder why I kept tending. That it's bad habit I started a long time ago. Perhaps I just like meeting the emissary to gloat. <laughs> But you have provided something quite new to talk about. Maybe you're a random die roll. Or maybe the Unity is finally responding to all my hard work. Chosen one. We are the, we are the chosen one. Again. Whoever created the artifacts and built those temples is playing a game with us. Uh -huh. One whose prize is access to the center of all creation. There are no rules. Whoever gets all the pieces wins. And I've won. Over and over. I don't kill for the unity. I find the easiest pathway to it. So we don't need to make the decisions. Oh, this is we are cheap. But it has really ratings. Before you leave, I want to give you something. A way to another artifact. But also, a lesson in how dangerous they can be. Seek the moon of old Earth. There are secrets there you must discover for yourself. Here. To open the way. <laughs> you should not brush sure, like you're, you must your, see your, for yourself nonsense. I do not always know if you are a person I should be helping. Forgive me. I have also found that advice is a poor substitute for experience. I ask you again. Go to Earth's moon. You should also talk to your colleagues in Constellation. I am sure they have gathered more information on the remaining artifacts in the fringes of space. Part of me wonders what they will all say about what you have learned. But I will leave that to you.